Hello everyone, welcome to the eighth lesson in our new customer onboarding video series. Today we'll continue working in the administration module, this time with custom fields, also known as user defined fields. The ongoing mission of new customer onboarding is to help you and your department get off to a great start using the best records management system for fire and EMS agencies worldwide. In this segment we'll discuss custom fields. Our objectives for this session include learning how to create a custom field, and learning how to use the custom field within an incident report. From the welcome page, let's click into the administration module. This session's topic is found in incident settings. Click on user defined fields. So what exactly is a custom field? Think of it as a data point within an incident report your department would like to capture but is not currently part of the ENFRS data set. You can see a few examples here in our demo account. In order to create a custom field, simply click Add Field. And remember, when working in emergency reporting, red fields are required fields. The first field here is Question. This is where you enter the information you'd like to capture from the incident. In this case, we want to know if a member of our department rode in on the ambulance. Next, we'll enter the sequence number. This entry determines the order in which this question appears on the custom field list in the actual incident report. In this instance, we'll go ahead and check the required box. This means the report writer must answer this question in order to complete the report. This particular question will be a single selection multiple choice type response. You can also create a field using a free text type in answer. This section is where you enter the potential answers to the question. I recommend placing the most frequently expected response at the top so it is more user friendly for the report writer. Once you're done, go ahead and click Save. Excellent, you've created your first custom field. We'll go back to the user defined field list and you will see the question that you created. There's one more important step before we can make use of custom fields. In the administration module, navigate to required fields and customizations. Under the general customizations, ensure that this box is checked, include custom fields page. Perfect. So the next time you go to complete an incident report, you will see the custom fields page. Red questions are required, black optional. The report writer e either selects the appropriate response or enters text into a field. Like everything in emergency reporting, good stuff in gives you good stuff out. As a bonus to today's lessons, here's a list of reports you can pull from custom fields. In the reports module, type in custom in the search field. You'll be presented with the list of some excellent reports that use the data entered in the custom fields page. As you can see, custom fields are a great way to collect data your department needs that is not otherwise captured in an ENFRS report. To recap, in this lesson we learned how to create a custom field and how to use custom fields within an incident report. We also glimpsed the myriad reports that pull data from custom fields. Stay safe and we'll see you next time when we cover another administration module topic, ENFRS exports.